Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to transform XML payloads using XSLT style sheets. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google on Apache platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apache Edge account, you can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need Apache API proxy concepts for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's say you have a backend which accepts XML payload or produces XML payload that you want to transform using XSLT before you send it back to the client or transform before you send it to the backend. Let's see how it works. For example, if the request comes to Apache Edge and if the request is a format XML, you can able to use XSL policy to convert that into a different format using XSLT style sheets. Similarly, whenever a response comes back from the client, you can able to convert the XML response into a different format using XSLT and then send it back to the client. You can able to do that using XSL transform policy. Let's see how that works hands on using Apigee Edge. As you can see, I'm logged in into Apigee Edge uh, as an org administrator. We're going to create a simple API proxy to demonstrate same. Click on API proxies and then click on plus proxy button to create a simple proxy. Using XSLT policy, Apigee can act like an XSLT processor for your APIs. To see that in action, we're going to choose no target, uh, which will act like a simple echo uh, response server for the XML that we are sending. So I'm going to choose no target for this uh, demo, but you can use your backend to change the XML before it reaches or take the XML and then change it before it reaches the client. So for just for this demo, I'm using no target. Click on next. I'm going to name the proxy as uh, XLT uh, demo. And then name the proxy base pub as slash v1 slash xslt demo. Click on next, choose the pass through, choose the default and build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, uh, access the proxy overview page to see the endpoint. Since this is a no target prox proxy, whatever information that we send, it just uh, echoes back. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, API and we're going to make an API call using postman. So I'm going to make a post call to this endpoint with body as a simple XML snippet. So I'm going to choose uh, the format as application slash XML, which will set the content type application slash XML. And I'm going to send some sample XML payload. As you can see, it's a catalog of series uh, information in XML format. So I'm going to make an API call. As you can see, there are a list of uh, series and information related to CD in XML format. So whenever I send this information to Apigee, it just uh, uh, it goes back the same request in the response. As you can see, the response format is uh, still XML, right? Let's see how to convert this uh, XML into a nice uh, uh, HTML using XSLT policy and XSLT template. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that using XML XSLT policy. So I'm going to go back to Apigee Edge, click on develop. So I'm going to attach uh, the XSLT policy to the response. So click on uh, pre-flow or post-flow and then choose uh, click on plus step and choose uh, XSL transform policy. Click on add and uh, we are going to take the payload from response since we are converting the response. I'm changing the source to response and then add the XSLT template. So I have a simple template here which converts into a nice uh, looking uh, HTML. As you can see it creates a table with uh, two columns title and artist. Let's save uh, the API proxy and see the XSL transformation in action. So once the API is saved, go to trace, click on start transition to see it in action. So I'm going to make an API call to the same API with the XML payload. Now we should see a nice uh, HTML in the output. There you go. Now we have an HTML instead of uh, the raw XML. If you click on preview in Postman, you can able to see the nice uh, table with the title and artist. And you can able to see the same in uh, Trace. As you can see, XSLT got executed and it converted the XML to HTML. That's how XSLT policy works in Apache Edge. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in community.apache.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your colleagues and friends.